Just days before the 40-round MLB draft, some lesser-known prospects get one last chance to make an impression at Bowman Scout Day. Before taking his swings, this prospect shares a word with another prospect who just finished up. Sometimes, it only takes a simple word or two to establish trust in others, which helps during evaluation.
Everyone has a personality, even a ball player. That personality influences how they respond to their teammates and their coaches. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we get the ball rolling with an intriguing matchup on day one between the prospects from the West region and the prospects from the Central region. Johnny Armstrong, a right-hander from the Garden State of New Jersey, gets the ball here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, one of the things you look for in a pitcher, Matty, is movement on the fastball. And this guy has great run on his fastball. What does that mean? On his arm side, when he throws, the ball has a, like, it looks almost like a cutter. It has this little sweeping action. What it does, it keeps the hitters from hitting it off the barrel of bat. A very effective pitch, but a very difficult pitch to command. Third baseline, fielded cleanly. Throw gets him, two down. Coming to the plate now, Jared Rixey, and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. The 1-1 one -one home. Sacrifice attempt as he gets it down. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. Whoa. At an event like the Tops Amateur Showcase, you don't really expect someone to lay down a sacrifice butt, but that's just what he did. Hey, I like it. He put his ego and desire to show what he could do aside and made a play that helped the team. And don't think the scouts won't take a note of that, because they will. Now at the plate, Marlon Medina, runner in scoring position with Sugan. No score here as we play inning number two. Here we go, guys, let's do it. Out towards second. He's got it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two, and we are tied nothing, nothing. At the plate, Vaughn Harris. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Vaughn Harris. See it, drive it. Let's go, kid. From the stretch. Swung on, hit in the air, and deep. Got a chance, and gone! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left as it's now a 2-0 ball game. Yeah, and the scouts love the fact that he has the power to go deep. But I'll tell you what they love even more. A hitter that can rise to the occasion with runners on base. A hitter that can clutch up is a valuable asset to any lineup. Leading off the hey, inning, no, no, Andreas Baladares, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. On the ground over to first. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted.
So the lineup flips over and digging in Earl Davila as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Find his way on as he gets this one down. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Into the box now, Babe now Covey. Back. He got on top of one and was a ground down hey. victim last Covey. time. Yeah, and I know you want to lace a line driver, hit a potential home run. Back, but no I'll tell you here. what, grab the cheap rib. There, give me a ground ball, middle of the diamond, and steal a run. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Ready to take his hacks again, Vaughn Harris, three. as he'll look to follow Ball. up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at-bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Medina will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. At the plate, Marlon Medina. The center fielder, number 16, Marlon Medina. Hey, all right, here we go now. Weekly down the line toward third. He's got a hurry. In time to first, and there are two away. What's play ball? Three. Your attention, please. Big hitting for the West. Number 21. Miss Sutherland. Ball sent back up the middle. On to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh as now there are two away. Into the box now. Vaughn Harris. He flew out in his last at bat. Harris. Hey, drive that bitch, huh? Here you go. First delivery to him on the way. Swung on, hit in the air, and deep. Got a chance, and gone! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. His second home run of the game, and it's now 5-3. to three. He's having an absolutely dream day here at the Topps Amateur Showcase. That's his second homer of the day. And to hit it out of this park, that's really impressive. If he was a stock, I would love to have bought some of him before this game. Now to the plate, Archie Chadwick. Now batting. Catcher. Archie Chadwick. Hey, ready for that ground ball? This is on the ground over to first. To second for one. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. Wow, that's what you want to see from your middle infielders. A really nice turn. But the feed was great, too. He fields the ball smoothly and gets rid of it right on time and on target. Pitching and hitting gets most of the headlines here at the Topps Amateur Showcase, but these scouts will take note of that play. I can guarantee it. A one-run finish today, 5-4 to four, the final score. The Central Prospects jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Garrett Bordick gets the W on the mound. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com.
Here now our final line score. First for the victorious Central squad, five runs, seven hits. Afternoon baseball here on the show. One game for each team is in the books, and now it's on to day two, and we've got a good matchup ahead between the prospects from the Eastern Seaboard and the prospects from the Central Region. Johnny Armstrong is tasked with pitching in front of the home crowd in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Stepping into the box, Lewis that Weber as the switch the hitter will take pitcher. his cuts left-handed here. Weber. Two out, nobody on. Hit on the ground to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. On now to the bottom of inning number one with no score after a half an inning. Coming to the plate now, Terrell Gaskins. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Yes, yes. The one two. Older out to short. Gonna be a tough play. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Digging in, Jeff Mora. And they're runners at the corners now. The left fielder. Runners are at the corners with one man out. to short this could be two there's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning so they pick up no runs on two hits no errors and a runner left on on now to the bottom of the second and we are tied nothing nothing ready now Vaughn Harris as he'll get his first opportunity in this one Harris Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Right fielder looking up. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field as it's now a 2-0 ball game. Yeah, and the scouts love the fact that he has the power to go deep. But I'll tell you what they love even more. A hitter that can rise to the occasion with runners on base. A hitter. Striding in, yeah, Ken here. Garth. Garth. He'll get to take his first, first cuts here. Yeah. Garth. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Get to run, third. Run, run. And there are yeah. two away yeah. now. Digging in for his second at bat, now Joe bat. Thomason. Joe Thomason. The 0 1 on its way. Two, two. Rounded back up the middle. Scooped up. Got one it. there. On to Got first, it. and it's a double play. The second they've hit into in these first four innings, and there are two away now. Standing in, Bobby Rupert, runner in now scoring that. position with two gone. Bobby Gaskins Rupert. stands at second with two gone. Hey, here we go. 
That's up, that's this has up. popped up. Harris yours, yours, has yours. a play. I got it. But the ball, second ball. baseman calls him off and makes the catch. And the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't touch that dial, or the remote for that matter. More on the show right after this. Digging in to try it again, Ken Garsh. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hits are now even at four apiece. Second attempt here. Ready to take his hacks again. Vaughn Harris. As he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. First offering on its way. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Left fielder looking up to the track, to the wall. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left, his second of the game, as they move on top four to nothing. Man, oh man, he's having an absolutely dream day here at the Topps Amateur Showcase. That's his second homer of the day, and to hit it out of this park, that's really impressive. If he was a stock, I would love to have bought some of him before he... Riding in once again, Terrell Gaskins. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Yeah, one away. One away. Two, He's on the ground two. to first. We'll see if they can get two. The oh. second for one. Yeah. On to first. It's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. One hit in the inning, but no one left. The five, six, and seven slots do up in the bottom of inning number six. The central prospects lead it here six to nothing. Ready to take his hacks again. Vaughn Harris three. as he'll look to follow Whoa. up the two-run homer he Harris. launched over the wall last time up. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. It's last at bat his second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A-B. Center fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. We're through six full. The central squad is on top here, six to nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Pinch hitting for the East. Number 26, Devin. He's away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. Throw in time at first for route number two. Ready to begin the eighth and standing in the outfielder, Terrell Gaskins. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could... Beautiful diving stop. Got him. You're out. Wow, what a play right there. That has to be one of the gems of this showcase game. He flashes leather with an incredible diving stop and then has the composure and wherewithal to collect himself and make a throw over to first. Any major league team worth its salt wants a player that can do that on their team. Stepping Plays up to the first. plate, Jeff Mora. Only four down. outs remaining for them yeah. to try and rally back Mora. in this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Slowly to first. Reined in. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The central prospects lead it here 6-4. to four. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Devin Montenegro. Hey, right as he'll look to bring home that tying run from Mark second with a base hit into the outfield. One down, one down. Oh, and two, here it comes. Strikes, he's able to get this one down. 
And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Whoa. At an event like the Topps Amateur Showcase, you don't really expect someone to lay down a sacrifice butt. But that's just what he did. Hey, I like it. He put his ego and desire to show what he could do aside and made a play that helped the team. And don't think the scouts won't take a note of that, because they will. Into the and box, we two, Lewis two Weber, the as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up Lewis. with that equalizing run just Weber. 90 feet away at third. Here we go, boys. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. He's right there. And the throw will be in time as they'll wind up stranding the possible tying run at third base. And this ball game is over. Well, in hindsight, it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. A one-run game, 6-5 to five, the final today. The Central took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Sergio Baroa is credited with the win. Sonny DePriest worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. For the Central, six runs, ten hits, no errors. They left four men on base. With nothing left to do but await his fate, this young hopeful receives a check-in from his former high school coach, who's been acting as his advisor through the process. Welcome back to the Major League Baseball first year player draft. The first pick. With the 18th pick, the Arizona Diamondbacks select Vaughn Harris, a first baseman from the Central Region. After a long and lonely first two days of the MLB draft, this player's wait is finally over. While being selected is a major milestone, new draftees still face long odds of ever making it to the big leagues.